Louisiana's attorney general gets involved in the fight over the state's new congressional map. As Sabrina Wilson reports, the litigation has made its way to the nation's highest court. The legal back and forth continues over a new Louisiana congressional map that gives the state two majority black congressional districts. Currently, there's only one. Attorney General Liz Merrill filed this legal document asking the U.S. Supreme Court to stay a ruling by a federal appeals court in report that shot down the new congressional map that Governor Jeff Landry recently signed into law. I think this is sort of a Hail Mary pass by, by the Attorney General. With everything that's on the uh, plate of the U.S. Supreme Court right now, um, with all the cases for, you know, that they're considering involving former uh, President Trump, et cetera, uh, you know, it, it, it's questionable whether or not getting involved in this case at all is going to be a, a priority for them right now. Now, we do expect, well, we do know that this case is eventually going to have to be settled by, by the U.S. Supreme Court. On April 30th, the Shreveport Federal Appeals Court ruled two to one that the map was unconstitutional and racially gerrymandered, prompting voting rights advocates to file an emergency motion asking the Supreme Court to keep the new map in place for this fall's congressional election. What's making all this complicated is the Secretary of State, Nancy Landry, continues to say that she needs to know what the map is going to be by next week in order to get ready for November elections. However, uh, it's also been said that she can get the ballots together by end of August if we had a constitutional convention then. So I think there's a lot of questions. With Republican slim majority in the U.S. House, the second black majority district could help send another Democrat to Congress. Dillard University political analyst Dr. Robert Collins. This case is being watched nationwide because the the U.S. House of Representatives is on a razor edge right now. This seat could literally determine who the next Speaker of the House is going to be. State Representative Mandy Landry says it's anyone's guess what the congressional map will look like for the election. And there is an open question and conflict amongst the many lawyers which map exists now. Is there any? The current litigation aside, Dr. Collins believes Louisiana will eventually have two African-American majority congressional districts. Simply because the ruling that came out of the of the federal panel in Shreveport actually uh, conflicts with the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling in the Alabama case. So I do eventually b believe that the U.S. Supreme Court will overturn the, 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 the ruling that happened in Shreveport. How fast the U.S. Supreme Court acts on the appeal of the Shreveport Court's ruling and A.G. Liz Marles' filing remains to be seen. Lee.